Kia ora guys and good morning. It is a, another weekend and a, another trip. We are again heading on down south but this time we are staying overnight. So it should be a weekend full of interesting adventures, random sights and probably Pokemon Go because it's a little bit addictive and we're going elsewhere. So I will see you on the flip side. It was such a yummy lunch, so we stopped off in a little uh, pub which is run by a family friend called the Fox and Hounds. It's a place called The Green, uh, which is near East Knoll. It, it was so good, like actually had a pie that went all the way around with pastry, which is so hard to find here. And it was homemade pastry, it was really delicious, um, with a little kiwi touch here and there, so that was kind of cool. Um, so now we're going to continue on down the road. Look at these tiny little roads though. I mean, what do you do if someone comes at you? It's so tiny! We've just seen Pabu and he is so cute. We've finally been given his release date too. It's going to be the 18th of August, so it's only like a month ago. It's so close. And now we are heading on off on our next little adventure. We're doing an overnighter again, so this should be a bit of fun. Stay tuned. We have arrived in South Sea, so it's kind of on the southern end of Portsmouth. Uh, Gonna stay here for the night, go and explore. The sun has finally come out slightly, which is exciting. So we're gonna walk down towards the castle in Esplanade and do some Pokemon Go. It's almost somewhere tropical. <laughs> Good morning guys! So last night we went to a really cute little pizza place for dinner and then we headed out along the bee towards the pier and kind of had a wander around. It was really pretty and then we found like two kind of um, poker stops that had wonders in them that like created the Pokemon to come here. We spent a while there because I caught a Pikachu and I was super excited. Yep, a bit geeky but that's right. So today we're gonna go probably grab a coffee. We found like a really cute hipster kind of place. Hopefully we'll make a coffee and then we'll head up to Portsmouth and check out there. Lot of fun. We didn't end up going in to see the um, 
exciting boat because it was like 18 pounds and there were lots of people and I didn't really feel like paying 18 pounds to see an attraction but we could see the other boat which was really cool um, and then we kind of walked around and caught a lot of Pokemon because that's what you do and made friends with other people catching Pokemon so it's working go Pokemon go um, and now we are heading on out of the city um, we'll probably have lunch on our way back uh, before heading to Bristol So traffic was a bitch, so we decided to take a detour and come to a National Trust building. So this is Mottis Font. Mottis Font. Um, and it is a beautiful big estate with gardens, so we're going to check it out. And I think there's a few cafes around here, so we'll have a little little wander. But yay to National Trust memberships. Hey honey, I'm home. <laughs> Pigs or horses, who knows? That was absolutely gorgeous um, walking around those gardens and the estate was amazing. Apparently it was like three times as big as that way back in the Tudor period so that's pretty impressive. Um, it would have been amazing to see that but it's been redesigned over time. But no, it was cool. So now we're heading back to Bristol um, and yeah, it will be definitely sign off time for me. So I hope you all have an amazing week. Hit the thumbs up button if you loved it. Click down below to subscribe if you're keen to see more random travel shit. And I'll catch you next time. Bye! Just caught an onyx, mother. <laughs> oh my god.